Okay, this is a long nose gar, which is about maybe foot and a half that we got from Matthew Long in, a, in August 2022. Today is February 2023. And this fish has not eaten in six months. Nothing. I've been backwards for this fish, trying to feed her, trying to get her to eat. Trying to get it to eat. He wouldn't budge, he wouldn't eat anything prepared. And Matthew had the same problem. He couldn't, he couldn't break this fish, so he caved and he was giving it live. I have never given it a live feeder since we got it. I've been offering it cut fish, pellets, various kinds of cut fish and not just offering like, you know, giving it to, to it. Trying to train it to eat from tweezers. Here I'm trying again with this Nice juicy night crawler. I think this is going to be my last time. And he's not going to take it. So I think I'm going to give up and uh, put it in one of our out outdoor ponds because I don't want to see it suffering so much anymore. I mean a couple of times he came over and uh, grabbed a couple of these uh, night crawlers and then he would just let him go and not pick him up again. Because I don't know what else to do for this fish. I don't want to feed it live. I mean, I could. Maybe I will consider that, but it's not worth it for me. It's too much trouble. Usually, gars are so voracious. I've never had a gar that I had trouble feeding. This is the first time ever in the 15 years I've been doing this. Gars are very, very voracious eaters. They bite and grab everything. Perhaps long nose are less so. I'm mostly speaking for the bigger gar, Florida, alligator, spotted, Cuban, tropical. Never had a short nose, but perhaps, yeah, the long nose are the hardest or the, the, the finic finickiest. Yeah, this is this is what happens every day and uh, for six months, not every day, but whatever, twice a week I try to offer him something like that. A piece of fish. A night crawler. See, he, he grabbed it. He grabbed it, but he didn't, he let go. He grabbed it, but he let go again. Oh, what a pain in the butt. He's so thin, it's heartbreaking seeing him so thin. When I put this tiger shovel nose in this tank, he was trying to bite tiger shovel nose. Of course, he was way too big for him to eat, but he tattered his fins. So I gave the tiger shovel nose this uh, cage, a hidey hole. Half a trunk. Cage, I mean cave, I'm sorry. Cave. To hide in. So that seized. But that fish has never... Six months, guys. Six months it hasn't eaten anything turning into a stick, I'm pretty sure it's on the last legs. A bit more time and it's a goner.
So I gotta do something here. The tiger will pick up that worm sooner or later. <laughs> 